Labour Party is in serious crisis and this has been on for years now but some people never believe until it becomes obvious that they are indeed in a web of crisis. So it all started when the party divided into two, where we have the Julius Aburi led uh, leadership of the party, uh, when we have Lamidia Papa led the uh, fractions of the Labour Party, and the battle for the leadership of the party has on for a while. And um, why the OBDP turned for Julius Aburi, the candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, in the side of Aburi, and this have led to serious legal battle, despite the fact that uh, then Labour Party was in court challenging the victory of uh, our President Bola Admet Tinubu. Two fractions are also in court or challenging who will take over the leadership of the party. But at the end of the day, the Julius Aburile uh, National Working Committee uh, marched victorious and it seemed that the fight for Aburi to take over totally the leadership of the party have paid way so this has been happening some people have accused Julius Aburi of financial misappropriation and many people will not believe because there is a crisis within the party but people just ignore it but right now it is obvious that Julius Aburi no has something in hiding so he's doing everything and he wanted to become life chairman of the party so talking about the recent crisis that rocked the labor party week ago the nigeria labor congress complained about the style of mr aburi in running the affairs of the labor party the first time they come out openly uh, to demand for the Aburi resignation. When they visited the national secretaries of the party, and they are asking for the resignations of Julius Aburi. So that is why it is a glaring for everybody that the Nigeria Labor Congress actually register and they have the possessions of the document of the Labor Party in their possession. They have received the signal that the Julius Aburi led National Working Committee is going to conduct a parallel congress and they don't want this to happen. But at the end of the day, Julius Aburi has his way and the parallel congress was conducted in Niniwe, Anambra State, where they reappoint Julius Aburi as the chairman of the party for second time. But this did not go well with the board of trustees of the Labour Party. And they announced that they have taken over the leadership of the party. And they rejected the parallel congress that saw Aburi as a chairman of the Labour Party for a second time. And they announced that they have taken charge. They have taken over the party. But before you know it, one of the members of the working committees of the party uh, under Julius Aburi make a public statement that they don't know anything about board of trustee in the Labour Party. Also to add salt to the injury is when the INEC, that is the National Electoral Commission, announced that they will not recognize that convention conducted in Unewe the Anambra state. So the problem has started again for Julius Aburi and uh, you'll be wondered that if your tenor expire as a chairman of the party, the honorable thing to do is to step aside. But Julius Aburi will not step aside for anything. He still lay claim. Hold on to the chairman of the party. His plan also to become the chairman of the Labour Party for life. And you can't blame him. Julius Aburi have tested money from the Labour Party. I know during the election when there is a lot of law for the Labour Party, especially oh, for Peter Obi, especially the kind of law of obedience show for Peter Obi extending to Julius Aburi led National Working Committee. And for the first time in Labour Party, they have resources. People donated money. People send money in abroad here in Nigeria.
so for the first time labor party made a lot of money and there is money to spend that is when you know the true color of the party some people have seen labor party as a saint but when one corruption allegation or the other begin to surface people begin to have second thought and this julius Abure have been accused of several financial misappropriation uh, of this labor party and when the money is coming and they have money to spend right now that is why julius Abure will fight to a knee to remain the labor party chairman in the congress also that was conducted and declared julius Abure the chairman Julius Abure also reserved the candidate of the party for Peter Obi. Is he want to continue the way money is flowing into the party and not that? And they are eating the money while Peter Obi is you no know, asking for accountability uh, for the money. But Julius Abure led National Working Committee we not accept that so and they love the way they are sharing the money they will love the way they are spending the money so what do you expect from him that is why he's holding on to the party structure so he doesn't want to leave it for anything but the national working committee is planning to conduct a fresh convention where they will carry a lot of people everybody along so this world has been going on money julius habure is seen in this party that is why he doesn't want to leave the seat seat of the chairmanship of the party